hi guys and welcome to this video so in this video i'm just going to be briefly going through how to test your apis in postman you're using postman so if i come into visual studio code here you will see that i have this django project in which i'm using the django rest framework so i have a view named test view and this test view is linked to the home url right here which is testview.asView. So that is the home URL it is linked to. So this testview is taking a permission which is, is authenticated. Now, what this means is that a user needs to be authenticated before a user can access this API, whether with a get or a post method. But I first of all commented this out because I don't want the user to be authenticated first of all. So let me first show you how to test this particular API using Postman. So I'm just going to head over to Postman. So Postman is just a free tool that you can use to test your APIs. If you don't have it, just go to Google and search download Postman and then you should see it and install it like a normal app. So what I'm just going to do is to come into this URL and then I'm going to have to put the Django localhost and then I want to use a get. So what this code right here is just doing is you don't need to understand what this is doing because it's just a code i have done previously in another tutorial so but this is just getting the all the objects in a model name student and then i actually first of all made this to just only get the first object but let me remove that so it can get all the objects and i can say many is equals to true so you don't really need to understand this coding I'm doing. I just want to show you how you can test the API. So I got the all the objects in a query set and I serialized that using a student serializer that I did in here, student serializer, which is only taking the name and age field. And the model is student. So this is the model right here. There are four fields, but in the serializer, I'm just only taking two. So now that we know that, I'm just returning a response of serializer.data. So what it should do is to give us all the data in this particular student model. So let's go back to Postman. And then when I hit send, it should give us something like null. Okay, so it says could not send request. So this is an error that Postman gives when your code is not running on the local. Host. So you could not send this request to this URL. So let's come into our command prompt and see what's wrong. So it should work now since it's running. So let's send again. And now you can see that it's just blank. Now, the reason why this is just blank is because if I go into my models, that's particular student model, there is nothing in there. It's blank. So that's why we see this as blank. But now let me come back to my code. If you can see this post method, this post request, we are using it to submit data so i'm going to submit a data and then get all the list of those data later so if i come here i'll hit post and then i'll go to body form data and right here what i just want to do is to say name let me just give it a name of student one and then age of 23 so i'm getting all this from the serializer if i come in here and open serializer.py you'll see that the fields that i need to collect are just only name and age so that's why i specify only those two fields and this is a character field this is an integer field so i must give them the type the data type in which they are assigned to so i don't get any error now let me hit send now once i hit send you see now that it just gives me what i inputted here as a response now let me show you why that is it is because in the views in the post request i said that once it saves it first checks if the serializer is valid that's if like the form is valid and then it saves it after that it just gives me a response of the serializer.data so now that i see what i inputted here, here 
that means that successfully submitted that data into my database now let me cross check how will i know if that is truly what happened let me go away from here and just come back and use a get request so now remember earlier on it gives us an empty list when we use the get request that and i said because we have no data in our database but now since we already posted the data to our database and submitted it when we hit send we should see this as a json response as you can see gives us name student one age 23 yeah json response is not empty at all now so i hope you get the concept of using postman with this django rest framework but now let me show you how to use it when it's authenticated so let me comment this or remove the comment so if i come here come back since i need to be authenticated if i come back i use a get request and it sent it's going to throw me an error so let's wait for that error okay it said it could not send so that's because it wasn't running it's running now so let's it send again so it gives me an error which is authentication credentials we are not provided now this is because i have specified in here that before a user can be able to access this particular api it needs to be authenticated so i'm not going to go deep into how the authentication works how we're going to get the authentication token i'm just showing you how to test the api so what we just need to do first of all we need to get an authentication token so i already have an authentication token created for a user what i'm going to do is to come into my project so i'm just going to open up my project with the admin and in the admin, I already registered the auth token model, which is provided by Django REST framework. So this is the auth token model. So I had created a token for the admin user. I'm just going to copy that and I can use that for authorization or for authentication. So for me to bypass this, I need to come into authorization and right here, I need to say API key. And the key needs to be authorization and the value will be token followed by the token which I copied from our models. So now this is the authorization process, this is the key and everything. Once I hit send now, you can see it gives me the list of the database. So this is used for protecting our API endpoint so that we can have some data in which we want everybody to view. But we can have some data in which we only want authenticated people to view. So only people that have an API key or let's say we want to put a price to using our API or something, we can use authorization and authentication. Now, I hope you understood this Postman testing APIs and stuff. And if you did, please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. Having that said, thank you so much for watching and bye for now.